Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to test the rooting paste from Secret Garden. I have received uh, this product for testing and uh, I have heard that it has a uh, great results so we are going to try it out. And now let's see. Here I have my Cutler Germania. It uh, had a lot of roots last year but I have dropped it from the third floor and uh, yeah uh, all the roots died the orchid is stressed so it has a new growth here but uh, it is very dehydrated no roots uh, are there and um, i'm going to apply the uh, rooting uh, hormone on this uh, side so first i'm going to take away the sheet because this uh, doesn't really help the orchid at all and the next one and i already can see a little I starting to form here this uh, is the beginning of a new root so on this side I will apply the paste you need to apply a very very thin um, product so I'm going to take a little bit as you can see and I'm going to spread it all this side um, I already know how um, orchids react in contact with moss and pretty much I know how fast they root and um, how uh, how they develop in time that uh, is what I have gathered uh, as informations in time with experience so what I'm doing now is just to see if uh, by chance with this uh, hormone the orchid will produce roots faster here we are I'm going to take some moss this is also from secret garden it's very good quality moss it's very fluffy very long strings this is actually amazing for mounting orchids i believe but this should be more than enough and i'm going to put here the orchid i also brought a stick and maybe i will even put two of them so i make sure the orchid stays completely in place I'm going to add a little bit more moss and at the end of the video I am going to put um, some uh, shading uh, foil on uh, on top so uh, the rooting uh, hormone won't receive any light back in its pot next one we have a brassicola orchid this is oh it's a bellara eurostar so again very little roots only a few are starting to branch in here and i'm going to apply uh, the paste here and here all the directions for use uh, are on their website so you can just uh, click translate in english and you are going to read it yourself i'm quite excited to try this uh, thing because uh, if uh, indeed it works it should be an amazing product so again i'm going to put here uh, i have some holes uh, i don't have any holes on the bottom i can always uh, drill some if i want so placing a bit of moss on the top won't really try to Put too much of it. Put in the orchid. And here she is. Next one, it is a very poor looking one again um, here I have some roots starting I'm going to remove this sheet as well I already have some roots so this one will react very very well in uh, moss if you don't have this uh, root look and if I uh, take away the other sheets I can see some more roots starting so I will take the other one as well and more of them are there so sometimes it's a uh, really really good oopsie 
I really hope I was in frame when I do that, when I done that, I don't know. So um, we can see that as I remove sheets, I uh, uncover more and more um, rooting uh, points. This one, I'm, I don't really think it's uh, alive because it's so uh, orange at the base. Actually, this one is rotted, so I am going just to snip it off. We can see there is an infection. So maybe, uh, yeah, I have some um, orange rot on the horizon, so I'm going to cut this thing off. Oh my god, this orchid has fusarium, guys. Okay, so we are going to test the rooting hormone against the uh, fusarium. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I think this uh, orchid is beyond the uh, saving. Here is the other suit bulb, which is also infected with the rot. We can see on the base. So what I want to do it is just to separate the new growth I'm just going to cut it off from here and let's see it still has the rod so I think uh, this orchid is beyond saving so I'm going to uh, uh, <coughs> I'm going to clean all the area because I don't want to spread any fusarium. I will disinfect my hands and I will come back. Okay guys, so the tray has been disinfected with some Thyssen. Uh, the last orchid that uh, we are going to work with, it is this Phalaenopsis orchid. This is, I think, uh, beyond saving. It is very, very dehydrated. So what I want to do it is to cover all this side with um with rooting uh, hormones with uh, rooting paste and uh, we shall see what uh, we are going to get all the time I am using a clean toothpick in my experience usually orchids that uh, are uh, or fans which are this uh, dehydrated don't really recover so I don't uh, keep my hopes uh, high, but we shall see what uh, this uh, paste will do to the orchid. I am putting um, here uh, on the stem, so up, because um, fells do produce roots from here as well, so I'm just trying to stimulate some root growth on her. Let's bring the pot. Okay, so here we are. We'll squeeze the excess of water from the moss. And I'm going to put the orchid. The orchid though will have will not stay on top of the pot because I do want to shade as much as I can the um, the rooting paste. As I said, the hormones do uh, react and lose their effect if uh, they have uh, contact with light, so we want to prevent that. I really hope I will be able to save this little one, but who knows. Secret, uh, Secret Garden does uh, say that uh, they have great results, so I'm going to keep uh, the moss just a little bit damp. I don't want to uh, keep it uh, very wet because uh, otherwise I could uh, cause some uh, rotting and I don't want that. The orchids are kind of uh, buried inside the moss. So let's bring the foil. Okay guys, so here we are back. Uh, I did uh, cut some pieces from um, some garbage uh, bags, these are black, so if this thing uh, doesn't work, I don't uh, know what will. 
and I will try to gently stick them in place. I don't want to use a uh, scotch tape because that is very harsh and leaves, leaves uh, residues on my orchids. You will uh, need to keep the orchids uh, in a shadier uh, place for uh, maximum one month and um, try to keep them as uh, ventilated as you can because as you can see around the base of the orchid we don't really have a lot of uh, air moving because we need to protect the hormone but um, I am a, a little bit suspicious because uh, if uh, all that much moisture we have uh, around the base can be that uh, actually just uh, keeping it uh, in very high moisture is the actual factor which uh, makes the orchid root and uh, together with the moss and maybe not the hormone so uh, as I said I will compare the results with my uh, experience in uh, saving orchids uh, in this uh, poor state okay guys so here are my uh, three orchids uh, which uh, on which we are testing the rooting uh, paste I uh, tried my best to cover the areas and uh, let uh, less uh, light to penetrate it and now I'm going to put them in a shadier uh, spot I'm going to wash them every single day see if uh, any mold uh, starts to form I'm going to see and I'm going to keep you up to date sometimes I'm just uh, posting pictures if I don't have uh, time to film so you should uh, definitely uh, go ahead and uh, hit that notification button and make sure you said that you can uh, see my community posts as well because uh, as I said sometimes I just post pictures there and I have received three more uh, products which I am going to taste in other videos here I have some uh, rooting uh, powder here I have some um, paste which uh, stimulates reflowering and here I have some cakey paste so we are going to test them all in another video so right guys if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you very much for watching and see you all next time